As constant movement fills the Philadelphia wholesale produce market in southwest Philly, there is growing concern of the lack of movement at the ports. Just the produce industry in general and how it would affect our business as well as the consumer. Mark Levin, the CEO of M. Levin and Company Incorporated, relies heavily on the ports for their imported produce. You've got ginger from China, you've got garlic from uh, Mexico and Brazil. And their big time product. One of our biggest items is plantains, which comes from Central America. Right now, they're banking on the piers in Wilmington and Camden. They are unloading fruit today because they're not part of that agreement. However, if there are picketers out front, our union personnel will not cross the picket line to pick it up. So it's going to affect the supply chain, whether they're operating inside the pier or not. Which the picketers have been out front of the Wilmington port since this morning, but are still allowing the trucks to pass. It's been definitely interesting um, seeing the repercussions of what's happened earlier today. It's finally hitting the markets. Ryan Sunderland, a buyer at Kuzman, says the unknown of how long the strike will be is causing costs to already skyrocket on imported items. You've seen anywhere from 20 percent to 200 um, percent increase in pricing due to the scarcity, knowing you won't be able to get any in, in who knows how long. That means the cost will then fall on the consumer. What do the impacts look like, um, especially if this ends up being a, a long-term strike? Not good. Winter is typically not the growing season of the U.S. So if this prolongs a month, two months, three months, be prepared to see prices relatively higher in the grocery store. Now, both people that we spoke with say that they completely understand why the union is on strike, but they say, unfortunately, the ones that are going to be impacted are the consumers until both sides can come to an agreement. Reporting here in Wilmington, I'm Greg Payne, Fox 29 News.